Hello everybody, this is the Unsung Legion. Welcome to Legion Looks At, a series where I take a game, give it a little spotlight because I've been enjoying it so much in my free time. This is the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, a free-to-play game on Steam that has just entered its open beta. The premise of the game is twofold. You build your own castle, this is my castle. So far, it's not much to look at, but I'm only level 10. And then the other part is attacking other people's castles. See? Attack them, you get loot, you get money, and you write nasty things as you shame them about their lack of dungeon building skills to collect this gold. But I may notice that this... Well, if you've played the game, you'd notice that my castle has a different skin on it. That's because I got the attacker pack, which comes with early access to the runaway which I will be using she has a uh, she's the only female hero you see the heroes up here there's the archer the knight the runaway and the mage uh, I started with the mage until I got the attacker pack so now I'm playing as the runaway her attacks are more mu music based and she seems to focus more on uh, stuns I guess would say she has a lot of stunning stuff and a lot more group control so you'll see a little bit of her later and as you can see this is where all of my monsters are sadly I don't like the way they have it right now where the most effective strategy for players seems to just be loading monsters into one big area like I got three bosses in here yeah I got Pete Proud Pound more, Count Snottingham, and Dr. Skull back there. And then just more Skull Puppet, Bone Puppeteers set to heal. Some little squid thingies in the front. Some derps, which are these little zombies. Some skeleton archers there. A few traps around. And it just seems to be the strategy of just loading those around in one area just so it's impossible to get past it which is unfortunate but I understand it maybe Ubisoft could um, do something like a room limit where you can only have so many monsters in one area but also when you change something in the in your dungeon you need to validate it which mine is validated right now but if you ch you basically run through your own dungeon and if you can beat it then it's validated so it has to be beatable is the main thing but that is I'm, I'll show you a little bit of that later but let's get right to the attacking phase so let's attack oh no I don't want to attack you let's attack Rut Cobra sure why not see what he's got so, as you can see, it's kind of set up like Diablo in the gameplay style. You have four abilities, one, two, and three, and then your... Oh, jeez. I just got that ability, and I like it. But uh, one, two, three, and then your right mouse button is also an ability. And the Runaway's weapons, I really like. They're just... They're all music-based. Like, she uses great spears, size, and, uh, great axes. And they're just all music-based. Use a headbutt. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit more about her abilities here in a second. Grab this stuff. Just follow the trail of monsters. Boom! Um, I like... She doesn't feel overpowered to me. Because I tend to actually die more than when I was using my wizard. But I just like her playstyle better. Use a heal. Boom. But you can also see there's a time to beat. That's their validation time. And if you can beat that, you get a star. And then if you blow up their mines, you get a star. And then I'll check that here in a bit. 
you get a star for something else too. Boom. Yeah, these Dr. Skulls can get kind of annoying if you don't take care of them right away. They will just keep on summoning. Dr. Skull just makes big versions of them. Boom. Get out of the way. And then we just kind of kite them around. Oh, there's another Dr. Skull still. Archer. Bump up deer. Where is he? There he is. Kill him. Alright. Now we're just gonna have to kite him around because we don't have any more potions. Can't take too much more of this. <laughs> Boom. Almost done. There we go. And we got plenty of time to wreck this guy's mines. There's one. Where's the other one? Eh, yeah, well, whatever. I'm not too concerned about life force anyway. I'm full on my gold and life force, so I can do a little stuff at the base. There's one star and there's two stars. And give me your stuff. And we'll give him a four star, why not? Rats. You're on Legion Vision. There we go. Alright, now that we have full on everything, we can actually do a little stuff that I wanted to do. First off, we're going to upgrade our summoning portal. Then we have to wait pretty much because. <sighs> well, let's see, what can we. What new things can we summon? Mr. Firesley. Let's see. Oh boy. Castle's too full of creatures for Mr. Firesley. I wonder how many he needs. Zeke, elite ranged archer. Wow. Um, we'll pack up a few of these. Uh, get down to 160. Pack up a few of these more useless guys. And then we'll try. Still too full. How much does he even take? Doesn't even say. That's why I don't like either. I kind of wish it would say how many of these things it would take before it was too. We got a robot drawn? We're at max capacity. Still, wow. Um. Three, four, five. Ooh, it's getting how many does this guy here. take? Let's take out King Stottingham. Boom, right there. Um, oh. Yep, defense lost, defense lost, and... I think it's defense lost, yep. Yep, defense lost. Uh, update time, which I'm doing. Okay, let's see, we got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm thinking this guy takes 15. So we'll do. We'll put one of these guys back. There we go. Oh, okay. Only one boss creature in a castle at a time. Okay, that would explain a little bit more. Uh, we'll throw another Defendatron in there. Pop him down at 157. Need a little more cannon fodder. Um, we'll throw another 
there's Cyclops in there. Boom, like that. And some chickens. We're at max capacity. Why not? Why not chickens? All right. And when heroes die in your dungeon, castle, I mean, they drop a little tombstone, and you collect the tombstone for fabulous prizes. There we go. Um, can we even do anything? Is it all gold that we need? Gold, 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 gold. Yeah, pretty much. Alright, we could be so many new traps. Ooh, the fourteen flame cannons actually. Uh, might have to just upgrade something else. Springboard, that'd be kinda cool to do later. But now we have to validate our own dungeon. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's kind of unfortunate that mostly that seems to be the most effective strategy is to just cram all of your monsters into one area. I'm not a big fan of it, but it works, to be honest. Wait for the giant hamster lizard to do and run fast. Headbutt the mine. Alright. Holy crap. I'm really hoping I can beat this. Let's try and lure some of these guys back here. I don't know. Direct. Vision. Die, dragon. Okay, come on. If I can get that dragon down, I should be okay. Actually, look at the road. The runaways. Uh, I call it the roadie for some reason. I guess probably because she reminds me of like Eddie Riggs from Rural Legend, which is one of my absolute favorite games. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a bunch of these bastards. Crap! Not good. 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 Oh, balls. Ugh. I'll do that again on my own time. But, yeah. Back up to attack. Have an inventory system. You know, just kind of basic. Drag, drop, sell, collect loot. The loot is. Eh. I wouldn't call it epic, but I'm only level 10. So. Eh, it's defense lost. So take that as you will. I have a knight there. But, skills. So you get there's just the. assortment of skills, and then. I'm guessing you just start to, like, get more powerful ones as you go up. Like, I'll get this one next level. So right now I've got Mosh Pit, which is kind of like an area stun, and it gives you a shield the more enemies are around. Sorry, I forgot what that one even was. And I got Siren Stun, which is basically like a three 
consecutive stuns and the last one does more damage. Headbang, which is one of my favorite level, which, which is one of my favorite skills, period. That was that little running and just heavy hitting. Then the push is one I just got. It's kind of replaced the, uh, the spin, spin sugar, spin, spin sugar, bleh, attack for me that does a uh, rotating little war one kind of thing. It's about 80 damage and it stuns them. This is just a force of energy. It does almost 200 damage. So that's why I like it. Oh man, I need to update my defense, but we will try that defense one more time before we quit on it. Admit it. You're happy to see me. I like this game. It's free to play. I put down 15 bucks for the attacker pack, which gave you uh, early, early access to the runaway. She gets an exclusive skin, which is this red striped hair. And then the musical notes that kind of follow her, that's exclusive stuff. And it gives you $10 worth of blings, which are the little diamond things, which I used to buy the theme for my dungeon. Um, so far, I don't think, I haven't seen any pay to win things. Um, except just boosts. Which, get, well, which will just get you gold faster and, hey there, tall, come on, I'm around the corner. Yeah, they'll just get you gold faster and XP faster. Just standard stuff, really, anymore for a free to play game. So that didn't really upset me at all. Ah, I got hit by my own hamster wheels. Boom, oh crap. It's almost a challenge is validating your own dungeon because you want to make it as hard as possible which works against you half the time when you have to validate it. Because I've made dun a castle setups where I haven't even been able to beat it at all. And this dragon kicked my ass. I don't know if I'll be able to have him yet. It's because he's too strong for me. Damn it. But I will have to do that on my own time. <laughs> this has been a quick look, really quick look at uh, the mighty quest for epic loot. If you guys like the video, go ahead and throw a like or favorite at it. And if you like what you saw, go, help, go ahead and comment or subscribe. I would really appreciate it, guys. But I've been the Unsung Legion. Until next time, I'll see you later.